everyone's just excited. I don't think there's much nerves about it. I don't know whether it's because with another final, you know, I don't, I don't feel like personally there's pressure. And I, the vibe I get off the rest of the lads doesn't feel like there's pressure. Everyone's just excited for it, looking forward to it. Long time coming for us as a club and it's just one of the biggest occasions in football at our level. So really, really looking forward to it. Well, there's slight nerves as, as expected. I, I like a bit of nerves, you know, but uh, we obviously played a Crumlin star in a semi-final of the Border Cup, which we come out on top 2-0. Um, but I mean, that come this this final, that goes out the window, do you know, and it's a matter of who turns up and who does the business on the Christmas morning at the end of the day. Uh, the intermediate sort of way, uh, the, probably the hardest to win, and we've been lucky enough to win that twice. We've got the latter stages of the Steel Cup over the last five or six years. I think the Blues beat us. We were 2 0 up at half time, and Linfield came back and beat us 3 2. And then we played, I think it was Sirocco Works, we drew 2 0 and we're beating penalties. So this one, the Steel Cup, has sort of eluded us over the last four or five years, you know. I think the Steel Suns is renowned for a lot of, even people who aren't involved in the, either club. It gets a real good crowd every Christmas morning. A lot of families that have, I know personally, a lot of people come down every Christmas morning with their grandas and their uncles and whatever. And uh, hopefully it should be a good occasion. From what I understand, there's the whole town's going, so yeah, the support definitely helps us, definitely drives us on. Well, to be honest, over the last couple of weeks we've been concentrating, well, we've had one league game, we've had intermediate cup game, Limavari, we were playing ace away and things like that, so we hadn't really any time to sort of we dwell on the final. Now, after Saturday's game on, on Saturday there, <laughs> we beat Rosemount, and then all of a sudden you're starting to look forward to what we're doing this week. I think we're training Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday this week, and all of a sudden there's a wee buzz about the place, so there is. There's a couple have we niggly injuries, so we'll have to manage that well through the week. Um, the couple missed out on Saturday, so it's important we look after the Emmons and manage their fitness and fitness levels. But I mean, it's going to be probably more of the same as sort of semi final sort of team, you know, um, who went out and were phenomenal against them. Because we know uh, playing a crumb and star side, you need to be on the top of your game, you know, there's no doubt about it. Um, and to prefer the boys were that night. So I just hope they come in this week to train and they're up for it and focused and settled, nerves settled to get into Monday's game. Yeah, you know, I don't like leaving any child out, but that's the nature of the beast. You, you can only take 16 and that's the rules. And Yes, there will be disappointments, but that's football for you. And I'm the man who has to make the decisions. And I, do it particularly late. I don't like leaving anybody out whatsoever, but I have to try and pick my 16 strongest squad available on the day to sort of way try and match up against Cumber. The whole town's buzzing for it. You know, everybody and a lot of the fellas that were here had seen them win it. Like they're they're excited for it. We just hope we can deliver it for them. At intermediate level, this would be the clean sweep for us with Borders and Clarences and a couple of intermediates, and this is just sort of. Over the past number of years, the one that's got away. Um, I personally, I've lost three semi-finals, so we've just got to the got to the the cusp and not quite got there. But thankfully, we beat Derry Abbey in the semi, and now we're in the final, and uh, it's all systems go here for next week. There was we had boys in the background crying, grown men crying because the love of the Cum Cumber people, you know, has always been focused around Cumber Rack, and they've been there maybe 50, 60 years, you know. Um, to bring this trophy home, a major trophy, um, it would just be phenomenal. Do you know, it'll be uh, another part of history, and I'm hoping to do that.